Hi guys, I'm Emily from Bailey Bell Tents and today we've got the lovely Danielle from Penton Park joining us in the tent. Hello! And we are going to chat all about how amazing it is to have a country house venue. So Danielle, tell us about Penton Park. Where is it and what do you do? So Penton Park is our family home mm -hmm. and we are in northwest Hampshire, so just on the border of Hampshire and Wiltshire. Um, it's a proper family home and family business, so my husband and uh, his parents, it's their family home and we live there with three small children who cause total three chaos. Kids. <laughs> we have three kids, yeah. it is a... Uh, it's chaos. It's chaos. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my husband's family have um, had a connection to the house since the 1940s and we moved in as a family in 2010, wow. proper kind of country house rescue style, so the house was pretty derelict mm -hmm. and we've been slowly bringing it back to life and we opened the doors for weddings in 2013. Cool. Um, we had our own wedding there in 2011 and realised it was quite good for a party. We got married in 2011, did you? It's yeah, a good vintage. Yeah, no, we did not. I got married in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> just came to you. <laughs> That's baby brain, it's fine. Oh, goodness me. So um yeah, we started doing weddings in 2013 and yeah, we've been going from strength to strength. Yep. So cool. yeah. So how many weddings do you hold a year? Maximum of twenty. Mm -hmm. Um we don't want to have any more than that and we are restricted by planning, but that was a choice that we made and that the reason is it's still very much our family yeah. home. So yeah. we live there on weekends when nobody's partying, we hang out and we enjoy the house. How do you find balancing having the family? life and the weddings going at the same time what do you do on, a, on an average wedding weekend okay so it's a good question <laughs> um we're, we're very lucky the house segregates really really well so we have a private um wing um mm -hmm. which has eight bedrooms so we have a lot of space um on a wedding weekend the children are confined to that wing mm -hmm. or the back garden which is fenced off so they don't make unscheduled no. appearances at weddings um guy and i really enjoy the wedding so nearly always you'll find me downstairs meeting and greeting um we love to kind of give a glass of bubbly to the couple as they've just arrived lovely um <laughs> guy is um very very passionate about our bar and is nearly always found on the bar serving drinks um he's got a microbrewery yeah. Sure. he's got a microbrewery yeah Love so it. and he loves to talk to men about ale so any guests you have been warned if you're coming to the house <laughs> thank you and okay. mulled wine this is very nice of you we, so we like to treat our guests oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so um yes yeah, so we're, we're very involved we do have an event manager who runs the weddings and um really works on coordinating all the details with our couples yeah. um but we do actively love to welcome and and kind of see the couple and enjoy the journey it's really a lovely time to be in somebody's life cool and you do weddings all throughout the year yep uh, so the 20 dates are released on a first come first serve basis mm -hmm. so this year it was all about summer next year it all seems to be about spring and winter mm -hmm. and 2019 everybody's booking for march for daffodils so we never quite know how the year is going to pan out we we're not really no. seasonal like a lot of other wedding venues we have all year round so and big question what do you think is going to be the biggest trend for 2018 weddings oh god i don't know <laughs> what, what kind of have you, have you found any sort of major trends this year um a lot of flower crowns mm -hmm. a lot of kind of um vintagey doing it yourself so a lot of kind of people making their own flowers yeah. and dressing the house themselves um so i think that might continue yeah. i think people are still kind of leaning towards that and enjoying it as Almost well like the naturalistic so, look isn't it yeah. we find that a lot with our outdoor weddings that we do as well is is very much the 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 multi, rather having one colour scheme is, is having the multi-tones and the very naturalistic woods and yep. flowers. Yeah, and so we had a lot of like round um, logs, sawn off logs, logs yeah. that flowers yeah. are on. So yeah. really nice mulled wine, by the way. Thank cheers. you very much. Cheers. <laughs> Mummies don't get to drink all the time, or no. do we get to drink all the time? I, I, I'm gonna, not going to lie, we drink quite a lot in our house. <laughs> we drink quite a lot in our house too. We have a gin globe in our house. It is we have a bar. <laughs> But we don't have a globe. Top there, why don't you? We don't have a manor house. But, but you we... do have a very nice globe. <laughs> and we have a very nice tent. Yes, we do. So, the exciting thing for Bailey Bell Tents is that next year we're going to be helping with Penton Park with our accommodation options. So yeah. we will be um, across the valley from Penton Park looking at the beautiful stunning house in, in the distance. And we're mm -hmm. going to be offering glamping opportunities as well for any guests who want to stay for the yeah. weekend. And that's really exciting for us. We don't have accommodation in the house because we've made the decision yeah. to stay living in there as a family that's home. Important. Um, and if you stayed, you don't want our three children or a giant dog waking you up on your first morning marriage. <laughs> we haven't talked about your dog. I know, Jack. 
a home dog. Who seems to be famous in himself. Marmaduke is um, due to be in Country Life in January. Exciting He's a bit of a legend. Yes. Um, he still won't get in the car, oh. so he uh, any vet treatments, they have to come out to the house, which is quite interesting. We had a, a, a visit with Penta Park about a month ago, yeah. about, about a month ago, and we got there just as Danielle was trying to put Marmaduke into the boot of her car to go to the vets to have a little procedure. <laughs> Poor Marmaduke. But Marmaduke it, clearly realised this was the intention. He did not get in that car. And how big is he? He must be about this. Yeah, tall. we, he's, we he's measured him. He's 92 centimetres at wow. the shoulder and about six foot and six kind of on his hind legs. He's an Irish wolfhound. Irish wolfhound. So anyway, he's still remaining his I will not get in the car <laughs> stance. So, uh, Rather yeah. than me. Uh, we're, we're barely a dog house as it is, but I think I'll just about deal with a chihuahua, let yeah. alone a beast of a, okay. a horse. He's, he, he is, is a, a horse. bit like a horse, bless him. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Danielle. It's, it's been a pleasure. pleasure to have you in the tent with us. And um, we're looking forward to 2018 weddings. And we'd like to wish you a very happy Merry Christmas. Merry Cheers. Christmas. Cheers. Cheers.